Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Um, nice to see you all. Uh, welcome back, David Atherton, behind the camera, so you can't see him, but he's been sunning himself. Um, it's the 26th of January. Um, here we are down at Bacanians. Um, I've got a very lengthy uh, press report, which I will whip through shortly. Um, but did everyone see uh, the news on uh, Montel Douglas? Um, getting into the Winter Olympics. First athlete to do, or first female athlete to do the Summer and the Winter Olympics ever, which is a, a great achievement. Um, and she was also 36 this week, had a birthday as well. So that was uh, very nice to see that. Nice that she's uh, doing so well. Um, right, to the press report from Nick Brooks, uh, we had the Kent Schools Cross Country Championships took place at the Hop Farm in Paddock Wood, uh, with club members competing in all six races, taking an individual gold and five bronze medals. In the senior boys race, Tom Brash ran well for eighth spot with Matthew Smith 22nd. Uh, in the under 17 men's race, Arthur Starvis took 10th place, with Jasper Brooks close behind in 13th. And then in the under-15 boys race, Lucas Elmquist continued his fine winter form with third place, uh, with Joseph Skeynes one place back in fourth, and Hendry Vester 18th. In the senior girls race, Hannah Clark continued her fine form taking third, with Amber Coburn eighth, and Liberty White ninth. In the under-17 girls race, Sophie Fleming ran brilliantly for third, with Sophie Tran fifth, Rowan Pearson 10th and Mariana Caceres 16th. And finally on the 15 girls race, Megan Barlow took a fantastic win with Lydia Whitcomb also uh, making the podium in third. And then Luciana Smith and Neve uh, Stanley also making the top 10 with seventh and ninth respectively. Uh, moving over to the US now, um, at various collegiate meetings, uh, Divine uh, on the depot threw the shot out to 17 metres 20 in Nashville. Lewis uh, Mills recorded 8.31.24 in Houston over 3,000 metres. Uh, while in Manchester, at the Box Manchester indoor event, Jareel Canoe opened in the 60 metres uh, with a time of 6.87. So that's pretty speedy. Um, <clears throat> we also had some indoor action uh, in the London indoor games at Lee Valley. Um, we had Harrison Thorne clearing 1m92 in the men's high jump, Barnaby Corey clearing 4m11 in the pole vault, Jade Oney uh, got 12-12 and Karina Harris 11.59 in the ladies triple jump. In the men's shot, Theo Adesina threw out to 11m90. In the under 20 uh, shot, um, Dylan Clayden uh, got an impressive 15.59m for a new PB. In the 800 meters, Sam Reardon clocked 152.85, Amar and Amarissa Sibley just missed her PB with two minutes, 9.58. Um, in the sprinters, uh, we had in the 60 meters, uh, ladies, there were fine timings for Tyra Cambianan, 7.66, Madupi Shakumbi, 7.72, Mallory Cluley, 7.97, Emily Kerr, 8.05, Kalia Young, 8.16, uh, and Helen Godsell, in the W65 race, nine seconds. In the many men's races held, uh, both Kieran Daly and Brandon Murray ran 684. Michael Demoa uh, clocked 692. Charles Naughty, 694. Jack Mensa, 696. Matthew Knight, 715. Clayton Jacinto, 720. And LJ Wright, 722. So some very good times there, looking promising for the summer. Um, there were some missing results from last week. Uh, we did get some excellent medals, actually, which we just need to let everyone know about. So in the 300 meters, uh, under 15 girls, Alyssa Furler got the gold. Um, in the under 15 girls, uh, Chi Chi Yupai uh, got the gold in the high jump, the long jump, and the triple jump. So that's looking good for the multi-event. Um, in the, uh, and then the silver medalists, we got in the under 17 men's pole vault, Oscar Whitcomb. In the under 15 boys pole vault, Charlie Platt. And in the under 15 girls, 800 meters, Megan Barlow. And the under 15, 13 girls, 800 meters, uh, Cara Bryan. And then the bronze medals, in the under 15 boys, high jump and long jump, Josh Danko. In the under 17 women, uh, long jump, Daisy Snell. And in the under 15 girls, shot put, Alyssa Furler. 
Um, this weekend, the major event is the Southern Cross Country at Beckenham Place Park. Um, and just to round us off, in Sheffield, we had the British Masters Indoor Pentathlon Championships. And subject to confirmation, Alex Pope broke the 60 metre and the pentathlon uh, B35 record for the club, uh, taking the silver. And Ian Furler uh, PB'd in the 60 metre hurdles, shot put and the high jump to take the bronze in the over 50s category. And that was his first uh, attempt at combined events. So very full report there. Um, before I turn to uh, Tony and his amazing 300 club draw, does anyone have any news to share with the club this week? The winner of the bonus ball last week was John Taylor, but he doesn't appear to be here. Okay. Uh, well, it was number 28, John Taylor, with £35, well done to him. That's great. In that case, Tony, I'll head to you for the draw. Um, while Tony's doing that, I have the, uh, the Christmas cake over here to give everyone, because I don't think we're going to have the, uh, the paper chase. So I thought, bring it down to Wednesday night and we can share it out. Is this cooked in your own fair hand, Mr. President? <laughs> this, is, this is absolutely done with my own fair hand. You have to excuse my fingers, actually, at the moment. You're trying to get out of the tin. Um, it's going to be upside down. Um, that's a bit more than that. It's probably expensive with all of the booze that I've put into it. There you go. You get, get a healthy slam as it hits there. Right, there we go. Right, Tony, you can leave the draw. Well, I'll, 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 I'll just draw it. Uh, shall I? Yeah. I can go around it. Um, we've got a, a 75, a 50, and a 25 uh, this week. Well, this month. Um, and just to say, I have got four vacancies. If anybody wants to uh, pay me 24 pounds for a whole year, and I'll just get someone to pull a, get Dennis to pull out one of these. And it is one five nine.